Dodds. It's Mr. Dodd, actually. Mr. Dodd, Dodd my name is Stephen. Um, nice to I'm an inspector. Oh, inspector. I uh, sort of meet under these circumstances. Yes, I, uh, I don't yeah. actually work within Killenbeck. Yeah. However, I'm passing through on another matter. And Chris okay. happened to mention to me that yeah. he was wanting a bit of advice. I overheard him on the phone. Yeah. And, uh, Chris hasn't dealt with a, a huge number of complaints before, so oh, he's asked yeah. me just to pop in and, yeah. and assist with the process. Yeah. Okay. If that's all right with you. It's fine, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Officer, you seem however. an intelligent person. Well, I try my best. I can't Being say ginger is a bit of a disadvantage, well. but I won't hold that against you. <laughs> <laughs> There's many people said that over the years. Yeah. I, from what Chris has told me, um, to see if I've got it right, there was a theft of camera equipment on Tuesday evening. Tuesday evening, correct. You reported that to the police pretty much immediately? Yep, within half an hour. Did any officer actually turn up? No. Right. And, then. and my brother considers me to be in a vulnerable situation and uh, because of that I underwent psychiatric evaluation at the Newsom Centre. Okay. So um, I th they, they call you service users and stuff like that but uh, that's a euphemism for the word patient as the yeah. Newsom Centre is a euphemism for the word loony bin. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that. I have to say I've mm, had... You haven't suffered from prejudice. Well, I've, I've, I certainly wouldn't call it a loony, but sure. I, I have my view on the, the Newsom mm -hmm. Centre, and actually, I've, I would, mm. my experience is the staff are actually quite the centre and the staff are... Well, quite. some are, but you see, when, like me, you broke the world record for walking backwards when you were 19... Never. Yep. And then, subsequently, because somebody walked around the track and beat it by a small amount, I decided to walk from Leeds to Kendall just to prove that I could do it. Backwards? Backwards and then had a very successful career in television, was BAFTA nominated and took my dad to the BAFTAs, which was quite, he was a, a coal, coal miner. How uh, far is that then, Leeds to Kendall? 80 miles, 100 kilometres. Is that the Dales Way one? Did you do the Dales no, Way? No, I walked on the A65. <laughs> oh, oh, you're a brilliant man. Well, I, had a, I was a potholder. Um, I was the second team into the largest chamber in the world in Borneo. Really? Yeah. Oh. I've been to Chernobyl. If I can... The, the trouble is that you, you believe me, but I've been in situations when I was sectioned where they refused to believe that I'd met Princess Diana. I'll, I'll be honest, I mean, I've been yeah. with Bobby a long time, I know Chris has as well. Yeah, yeah. Over the years, I've come to believe most things people tell yes. me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but sometimes in psychiatric wards, it takes a while for them to um, yeah. take notice of what's going on. The, um, and the thing is that these guys are, are giving you a compact disc. I've downloaded everything from my phone. I've cloned my phone and, and given it to you on a compact disc. Mm, and yeah. um, all of it, I decided I was going to make a film, uh, and it's turned out better than it possibly could have done. Right. You know, I've ended up in a police station uh, recording a conversation. It is the most remarkable insight into the human condition that um, we're suffering at the moment. Right. That um, people don't take loony seriously. Since you've reported the crime mm -hmm. on Tuesday evening. Yep. Have the police been in touch with you further? No. Right, that, that would tend to suggest what's on our records. Chris has just done a mm. bit of background mm. research yeah. with yeah. me there whilst we were waiting Why? outside. Why? To work out what, what exactly has happened so we can answer your questions for yeah. you. Yeah, but okay. it says that you, it says here, signed by Sir Norman Bettison, that if I'm considered by my family to be vulnerable, which is why I'm in this situation, why wasn't somebody here within 60 minutes to see me? Is that the police and pledge you've got there? Yeah. I, w I would tend to agree with you. Yeah. Okay, and you, you certainly won't get any disagreement on that. Yeah, sort. yeah, yeah. Let me just work through a couple of things if I can. Yeah. Could you just explain where you were pole position on Tuesday? Yep. That's the carton place down yes. in Hunslet Way, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what were you doing there? Making a film because one of the, the boys that I was filming said he was uh, suffering from anorexia and there was a patient at the news centre. Really? Yeah. Oh, how old he? Uh, he said he was 18. He's in, um, have you got that thing? As I will drop it somewhere. Course, Paul Hutchinson. That's ah, uh, that's one of the individuals you've yes, named, yeah. Yeah. And uh, Paul Position said they couldn't release the disclaimers that they that they signed because of the Data Protection Act. But I'm yeah. sure you can um, find your way around that. Uh, it will be one of the inquiries. Yes. You can be yeah. reassured. Mm -hmm. The um, so have you gone there and met them there or? I met them at the Newsom Centre. I offer them cigarettes because I know that one of the problems that you have when you're in the Newsom Centre is that often you find that because of the stress of being in a vulnerable position you tend yeah. to smoke a lot and um, having been in that situation myself on a number of occasions. I, in fact, I didn't start smoking until I was in the round table wing. That's when I started smoking. It's quite a lot of it goes on there. Yeah, and um, that's, you know, 
I'm an above average intelligence. My, my brother describes me as a what was it? Mediocre sound recordist. But I'm sorry, being BAFTA nominated is more than mediocre. Well, people with mental health issues do tend to be of. Uh, yeah, yeah there's a fine line between genius and brilliance. Yeah, I mean we have we have colleagues um, yeah. who, who suffer from mental health. There's an yeah, individual yeah. who works in this building, and, and, and he's the, a very, very and, the and the uh, stress that modern life imposes upon us. I mean, so look at look at swine flu, for example. Government propaganda handed down through the media. It is yeah. scandalous. So you've met these lads. Is it Philip and Matthew? Philip and Matthew. Yeah. Well, you've met them yeah. and in the Newton Centre. That's yeah. where you've been introduced. Yeah. Did you travel to pole position together? We actually went to Tockwith to try and get on the track there at Tockwith because I knew that um, I was I am addicted to helping people. I work as a carer, right. and um, they told me that there were disadvantaged um, kids, and I thought, well, I'll give them a day out. And one of them actually introduces the film as saying it's a day of the races. Yeah. And have you? Um, do you have any? Do you have a vehicle yourself, or have you yes, travelled in this? Yes, M six eight five UUG. Right, and that's your. Have you travelled in your car then? Travelled in my car. Have you yeah. picked them up from the house or from? Picked them up from um, the fish and chip shop opposite the newsroom centre, just around the corner. Right, and straight down to home as well. Uh, no, 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 no. We went to my place. Um, there was a soldier, uh, Kevin Hodgson, who was going to help us, but he. <laughs> He's actually turned out to be one of my closest friends. That's one of the things about meeting people in a mental health situation. Right. You meet people. It's a bit like you, you, you lot when you're in a stressful um, situation. Yeah. And I've got that from potholing and filming, you know, because you know I've worked in terrorist situations and stuff like that in several places around the uh, world. To cut a long story short, Paul tried to ki sorry Kevin tried uh, to commit suicide by breaching the world record of um, cocodamol tablets. 186. I said, didn't you do fucking well? That's, that's not a good record to try and He's a, um, so an ex-para, uh, Sergeant Major. Oh, right, para yeah. and an ex-RSM yeah. in the paras. And, and um, um, he's one of my closest friends. And these, are, these are his shorts. He gave me his shorts last night because his mum cooked tea for me. Yeah. Mr. Dodd, let me take you back yeah. to, so you went... So we went, went, we, we went from my back, place to, to the... To m went from oh, I picked them up. No, no, no. Picked them up from. It's all on. It's all been filmed, so you can piece yeah. it together from the film. And is that on this disc here? Yes. Which you, I, I think we have a copy. We of have that a copy of that. Yeah. Great. And then you've been in pole position. Have you been doing? Well, we went to talk with first of all. Right. Um, because earlier that day I'd bought a satellite navigation system for a friend of mine. I work as a carer. Yeah. And uh, she has MS, and she and uh, and uh, she has a se series of carers of which I'm one, and she wanted a sat nav because um, well I find sat navs useless actually, yeah. Uh, but anyway they wanted a sat nav so they can get from A to B with people who couldn't read maps, and so that was in the car also, and one of them that's been stolen as well. That's been stolen as well. So it's a sat nav, a professional, well semi-professional tri tripod a top-of-the-range uh, high-definition video camera, um, a device that allows you to plug old-fashioned microphones into the new system of yeah. um, stuff. And, and, and I think, because I haven't been able to find that, um, hands-free kits for a Sony Ericsson phone. So I would think... I don't know what the prices are these days, but is original costing about 2,000 quid. Tell me the circumstances of the theft, then. You've, you've been at Hunsworth. Well, for, you see, Kevin was going to come with us and be part of the film. Yeah. But uh, they over-medicated him and he didn't feel able to uh, join us. Yeah. Uh, but he did film me having a shave with um, two razors and smoking a cigarette at the same time, which is quite funny. Uh, that's on Facebook as well. Right. As are the... Because um, uh, it's my copyright. As are the... Um, um, pictures of the lads introducing the film and Magic. stuff like that. And that's Matthew and Philip. Yeah, right? and I'm so also, fr I'm also friends with the West Yorkshire Police, so they should have been <laughs> taking notice of that, yeah. but nobody did. How's, uh, the, how's the pole position theft gone then? Tell me. Well, it wasn't pole position. We filmed. We, what happened was that um, we went round. I don't know where I dropped it. I dropped the thing somewhere, but I'm sure I didn't print another one off. Um, it wasn't, the theft took place at the Newsom Centre because Kevin had right. told me he was staying in overnight and um, at the lad's suggestion they said that why don't we go in and show Kevin the uh, footage and on the film they seemed really genuine and I went in and went round all the secure wards and things like that in yeah. there as a visitor and um, 
when I came back, the security guard was there. My car 